Hey, shalom, shalom, mishpochah. Welcome to another edition of Raybash's Ramblings. My name is Rabbi Yehuda Ben Shomer, and today I'm going to be talking about grace after meals. Now, usually there's about four, maybe five blessings sometimes uh, after meals. And uh, the reasons that Jewish people uh, pray and give thanks and bless God after the meal is because there's a verse in the Torah that says, after you are eat and are filled, uh, you know, and you're in the promised land, the land flowing milk, on, milk and honey, etc., that you are to um, bless God. Because there's a danger in blessing God before the food. Because before food, um, you know, you're hungry, you're desiring of this food, and you got food on your mind, and you're like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, for this food. You're so grateful because you're hungry, and your, your body's about to get nourished, and you're about to get satisfied. But it's not so easy to thank and praise God after you're already full and filled. After you're full and filled, you kind of forget about thanking God, and you just want to kick back and relax. Not to say that Jewish people don't pray before meals, but we pray before and after meals, but especially after meals, um, so as to keep a heart and a mind of gratefulness and thankfulness to God, so that um, you know we, we never take our food for granted, never take our blessings for granted. It is because blessings uh, that have been taken for granted are the reasons that Israel fell away during the time of the judges and every man did what was right in his own eyes and even Moses before he died prophesied that this was going to happen so it's very important that we uh, bless God uh, after our meals now uh, I'm not going to go into all four um, I personally don't uh, say all four blessings after the meals because it's pretty long pretty lengthy usually on special occasions in Shabbat but uh, during every day, I just uh, usually um, just give thanks uh, with the first blessing after the meals. So I'm going to sing it in Hebrew and then read it in English. So here goes. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Chazan et Olam Kulo Betuvo Bechein Bechesed Vorachamim who no ten lekem lecho besar ki leolam chasto? Who tuvo hagedo? Tamid locha sarlanu viarle sarlanu ma zon leolam vayet bavor shemo hagedo ki hu ain els in farnis lacho. Umetiv lacho, umechin mazon, leko briotav, asher bara baruchat Adonai, chazan et hacho, b'shem Yeshua Moshenu, Amen. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, Master of the Universe, who nourishes the whole world in goodness with grace, kindness, and compassion. He gives bread to all flesh, for his mercy endures forever. And through his great goodness, we have never lacked, nor will we lack food forever, for the sake of his great name. For he is God who nourishes and sustains all, and does good to all, and prepares food for all his creatures, which he has created. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, who nourishes all the world. In Yeshua's name, Amen. So this is uh, the traditional grace after meals, and the not-so-traditional in Yeshua's name afterwards, but we as Nazari and Messianic Jews, uh, that's how we end our prayers, because we pray in the name and in the authority of Messiah Yeshua, uh, and uh, we give thanks. So uh, that's the uh, grace after meals, at least the very first blessing, so I wanted to share that with you. So uh, shalom and shavuot tov mishpokah. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.